Hello, I'm Shandre from Definitive Water and the Water Filter Factory. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a 20 inch big blue housing. So if you order one of these from us, uh, you'll see that it is a 20 inch by 4.5 inch compatible housing, which means that it takes filters that are this size. So that means that they are 20 inches long and they have a diameter of around four and a half inches. Um, fitting one of these filters into a housing like this just entails screwing the bottom of the housing off because generally the top is fixed and then removing very carefully the bottom of the housing. After that all you need to do is put your filter, uh, let's take this filtration cartridge, just obviously take it out of the plastic which is very important and then putting it inside the top. What you must just be very careful with is just to make sure that this ring, which is in the top uh, housing cap and also in the bottom of this housing body, fit into the middle of your filter as far as possible. This will line up your filter in the middle of the housing to make sure that it filters properly. And if the filter isn't lined up correctly, it will prevent the housing from sealing properly, which is very important. So let's just take this out so that I can show you what the top of the filter looks like. So usually with these big blue filters, uh, we do sell one or two different brands, but these big blue filters are single o-ring big blue filters, and they have one o-ring which is along the top here. Now one thing to be very careful with if you do, or when you do change your filter, is to make sure that this o-ring stays in place. You'll see it very easily can come out if you aren't careful. Oh, can't get it out now. But when it's wet and there's pressure involved, this o-ring can very easily slip out of its groove. So if your housing is not sealing properly, two things. Firstly, make sure that your o-ring is properly inserted into this groove and it doesn't slip out. Um, also make sure that it's not cracked or um, dry because that will cause water to leak through the o-ring. And then finally, make sure that it's sealing against the top cap of your housing. So you'll find that if you put in the wrong size filter or if your filter isn't lined up correctly, uh, it won't allow this bottom of the housing to press completely against the housing cap and it won't seal properly. So if you have any other questions regarding this housing or any other one of our products, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email and we will get back to you as soon as we can.